Today we're going to talk microphones. Yes, I know, more microphones. So if you haven't already guessed, I have a pretty crazy obsession with microphones and audio related stuff. And the reason is, is because I think that making uh, this part of your productions for YouTube or Instagram or wherever, podcasts, all that kind of stuff, uh, it's like one of the most important things. I've said it before, you can do shaky video a little bit sometimes, you can have something pop out of focus, you can have that sort of thing, and somebody will look past that. But if your audio is bad, they're gonna scroll away pretty quick. I had a company send me a podcasting microphone that you could use for voiceovers for your videos, you could use them for how-tos on your guitar channel, you could use it for podcasts, you could use it for all kinds of stuff. I already had this Blue Snowball microphone, so I figured, you know what? They're about the same price. They're right around the same price. They're kind of that same beginner consumer getting into podcasting sort of thing, and they're both USB microphones that you could just use with GarageBand or Voice Memo or something like that, and very easily start to record your voice uh, for your audio projects. So I figured let's do a back-to-back -back test of this one, the Blue Snowball, this one that came in. Now let me talk about a couple of features. First of all, the Blue Snowball is pretty cool because it's round and there's a setting on here that you can actually, there's a switch on the back that you can actually make it to where it'll pick up recording all the way around. I don't find it super effective, so I have not used it for that. I will tell you that Leslie has used it for her podcast on a regular basis. So if you listen to her podcast, we'll link to it below, you can hear her voice with this in her environment. It sounds great. This one has an adjustable audio level on it right here so that if you don't have a lot of experience with setting up audio stuff and getting your levels right, you can literally just go into the settings on your computer and arrow up and down right here and get your levels where you want them fairly basically, like from a beginner perspective, that's pretty cool. Let's hear how they sound. We're gonna read the same passage from my blog on both microphones, USB microphones. We're gonna go straight into our MacBook Pro and all I used was the voice memo feature so that you know that we didn't put any post-production or any kind of weird stuff. It's literally just record the straight voice. What is the best beginner guitar amp? When you want to learn to play electric guitar, you also need an amp and a cable. This is another area where, as we discussed in our article about beginner electric guitars, the internet can overwhelm you with choices. There are dozens of options available. When you want to learn to play electric guitar, you also need an amp and a cable. This is another area where, as we discussed in our article about beginner electric guitars, the internet can overwhelm you with choices. There are dozens of options available. Can you believe that for 45, 46, whatever it is, for you right in there, 40, 50 bucks, they change the prices around a little bit more. Look in the link below and you'll be able to see the current price for this product. Comes with the pop filter, comes with the arm, comes with the USB cable, the microphone, this kind of cool vibration mount sort of thing. Pretty cool, man. It works really well and I, I like how it sounds. Does that mean that my blue snowball over here that we've had is useless because in this test, this one didn't sound as good. No, I don't think so at all. I think Leslie has been using this as her podcast microphone. Like I said, you can go listen to her podcast. It sounds great. Just a beginner basic podcast setup, speaking voice into, I think she's using GarageBand to produce that, super basic, and it sounds great. But the studio or room that she's using is in her office. There's more acoustic treatments in there. There's less echo in the room, and this thing does just fine. In our dining room in here, it's a little bit more echoey, a little bit more noisy. And, and you know, if you tap the table like this, it's kind of prone to picking up those noises. This microphone, even in the same environment with those echoes and various noises going on, is gonna be a lot cleaner. So if you don't have a perfect, perfect setup or you know, real nice and quiet and you know, carpeted with some padding around you or whatever, uh, maybe this one is a better choice because I, I think if you could just clamp it to your dining room table and make a podcast, that's pretty cool. I dig it a lot. The one thing also I will tell you, this is a take anywhere, chuck it in your backpack, have it on your desk. This is a little bit more of a production. So this might be a little bit more, I'm gonna sit down at my podcasting desk and you know, 
make a podcast, do some recording. And I think for the budget and for the price, it's a great alternative for that. A little bit more permanent, right? This is where you don't want to have it permanently put on your dining room table or on your desk and you can you know, put it in a cabinet real quick and have it out of the way. That's another little kind of difference between the two. So I just wanted to share that with you. We'll put a link to this in the description below. We'll put a link to this in the description below. I think they're both useful for different things and I'm very curious to hear what you think. And uh, I'll tell you what, speaking of that, let's go look at some viewer comments from our last video. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way. Viewer comments. Ryan Miller says, good video. Okay, he's talking about the Bolt-On Next video that we did actually last year. This one comes up very often about people over-tightening their neck causing problems and why shims are bad and all that sort of stuff. There's a couple videos about that. You should go watch that. It's the comp. He says, good video. It's the concept of a compression flange. Engineers get this. Most guitarists apparently don't. Don't over tighten your neck, especially if you use shims. And if you have questions about that, leave it in the comments. Lost Smoke says about our video where we shot at that old uh, music video where we shot at that old dealership. Hypothetically, regarding quote unquote trespass, if you look like you belong, you do. I think he was trying to get me to go inside that building. There weren't actually any no trespassing signs, but I didn't want to push it. It was really a cool place to shoot though. And Felix Martinez says, in all caps, only a Gibson is good enough. For what? Like a doorstop, a guitar, firewood, classic rock, like what? Only a Gibson is good enough for what? That's a good question. Uh, the other thing I want to mention to you is probably, it's going to be about another week or so, but the end of December, we're going to give away five uh, year-long like membership things to the Go Guitar app, that learning guitar app that we did a video on a few weeks ago. That's coming. So make sure that you comment in the comments of this video or any of these other ones we've been talking about this. Uh, your goals for guitar playing for the next six months or a year for 2019, we'll call it, and, and put that in the, in the comments and maybe we'll pick you uh, to win one of those five apps for a year. iOS only for now, just so you know. Um, so if you don't use iOS, I keep forgetting to mention that. Uh, it's, we don't, you can't do that. So the other thing is, make sure you check out our Patreon because I didn't mention it in this video, but... We're gonna give this away, actually, over on our Patreon. So we're giving this microphone and this whole setup, everything, somebody's gonna actually get, gonna get this. So you need to go check that out for sure. Patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone. And um, we have a bunch of other stuff going on over there too. Some tuners, some a headphone amp, a bunch of other stuff. Really, really cool stuff. So go check it out over there on Patreon. I just, just, just go do that because I think you'll dig it. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you soon.